Have you ever pondered what brought about the downfall of the mighty Roman Empire? The Roman Empire, once the epitome of power and grandeur, stretching over three continents, was a force to be reckoned with. Its influence over politics, law and arts still resonates today. Yet this colossal empire crumbled, its vast dominion reduced to mere ruins. What could have caused such a dramatic descent? Some theorists propose a rather intriguing cause, lead poisoning. Now, you might wonder, how could lead poisoning possibly topple such a colossal empire? Well, here's the theory. The Romans, renowned for their engineering marvels, extensively used lead in their aqueducts, utensils, and even their wine. Yes, you heard it right, their wine. Lead, a soft, malleable metal, was highly favored for its pliability and resistance to corrosion. But unbeknownst to the Romans, it carried a silent and insidious threat. Lead poisoning, scientifically known as Satanism, can severely impair cognitive function and physical health. Symptoms range from headaches and fatigue to behavioral changes and even seizures. Now, imagine an empire where the citizens, the decision makers and the soldiers were all continuously exposed to lead. The collective cognitive impairment could have undermined the empire's decision making, affected military strategies and ultimately weakened the empire from within. In essence, the very infrastructure that supported the Roman Empire could have been its downfall. To summarize, the theory proposes that the Roman Empire, one of the most powerful entities in history, met its end due to a common element, lead. It suggests that lead, used widely in their plumbing, utensils and even wine, slowly poisoned the Romans, leading to societal decay. This theory, though contested, underscores how even the mightiest empires can be undone by the smallest of things. While this theory is not universally accepted, it certainly adds a fascinating perspective to the mystery of the Roman Empire's fall.